Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2017 Buick Envision. And as always, I hope you will find this review useful and interesting. Looking at Envision on the website, Ross and I both felt this vehicle looked like a punny and cheap attempt at the CUV segment. I can report that in person, Envision looks really good. I hope the shots are showing you this. Happily, we got the base version, which in Quebec, Canada goes for an extremely reasonable $42,000 Canadian. It comes with all the equipment you would ever need, minus some of the driving aid fluff and full leather seats. Shopping reveals, compared to an all-equipped RAV4, it's the same price, and Envision is better in every respect except reliability and fuel economy. Think about that. The rear hatch reveals seats that fold perfectly flat, giving you sufficient cargo capacity. So far, it is standard CUV slash small SUV fare. I have plenty of room in back, comfy seats that adjust fully. Useful vents and mobile charging make this a long distance winner. In front, you get lots of room and the fake leather is better than a lot of real leather that I have tried over the years. Seats are comfy. This is not always so with GM, nice. The steering wheel, the main driver interface, is best in class. The grip, leather quality, thickness, ease of maneuverability, and weighting is, for this type of vehicle, an absolute perfection, and I don't say that lightly. CarPlay and Auto are standard, and GM brags about their infotainment tech, which is not the focus of this general purpose channel. I'll just say it is one of the more user-friendly units, still there is a lot of clutter and it is not as good as the Dodge units. The base radio is very good and the dashboard presentation is worse than class. That aside, the rest of the interior feels like a tank with premium feeling materials everywhere, solidly built. It is the interior design language that is busy, slightly below par. 10 airbags are on standby for bad luck or carelessness. Well insulated, good looking, luxurious, comfortable. 42,000 feels like a bargain for Envision. This small SUV is powered by a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine rated at 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. Underwhelming, but it is a very smooth engine and enough for the task of driving normally. 11.1 .1 liters in the city and 8.4 on the highway is pretty good for such a heavy four-wheel drive vehicle. Envision is so much more than the GM website can suggest. Here are my random thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers, driving the 2017 Buick Envision. Um, a few notes, Ross and I completely agreed about this vehicle. So these comments that I'm saying also apply to Ross. He feels the same way about most of what I'm going to say, at least. Um, First things first, when you walk up to the vehicle, it's amazing how much better it looks in person than it does in picture. I don't know, when it looks in picture, it looks just not attractive, and in person, it really looks substantial, and it looks high-end. And I don't know if it's, uh, there's a lot of things that contribute to that, but one of the things is the paint quality. Uh, on the inside, a true feel, a substantial feeling driving, driving experience. What I mean by that is this is the best steering wheel in class, best leather, best grips here at two and, and 10. Uh, excellent steering wheel, excellent steering wheel. Um, the engine has really a smooth take up when you press on the gas. Uh, the suspension is Buick soft, yet not boat-like. It feels really affirmative, solid, and it takes the bumps really well. Perfect for city driving with our shitty roads. Moving along to other things here. The good thing is that the quality of the materials are excellent. Um, fully consistent with what I would expect with a $42,000 vehicle, even perhaps a bit more. The problem is, is in the design language. This dash here, we get the base dash, which comes off the Buick Verano, the worst thing of the Buick Verano, actually. Well, they transferred it here. Why? I don't know. When you get the higher end model, you get a better dash. Why? Um, the seats are very comfortable. There's actually a tissue center to these seats, which doesn't just save money, it really improves the breathability of the seat in terms of your lower back and your bum. Um, other things that are nice about this vehicle, well, the overall insulation is very good. A really great highway driving experience. 
Also, other things about this interior that I like, well, the base sound system is very good. All right, uh, you have lots of room in back, obviously with all these vehicles, but you really get a lot of room in back. In fact, you can adjust the seats fore and aft, and you can adjust the backrest for the back seats, which is pretty awesome. First of all, I, I, I have to give the thumbs up to GM for giving us the base vehicle. That's number one. I really like that. And you know, it's, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure people always buy the all equipped ones. I think they are either gonna buy base or uh, middle of the range. A really interesting vehicle for somebody who's perhaps looking at a CRV or a RAV4 all equipped. They can get this for the same price. Um, and, and it certainly feels much more substantial. And it certainly feels, uh, the NVH is certainly uh, on another level. Um, so I have to recommend this vehicle and uh, that's the review.